there folks welcome back to another brand new video let me go ahead and turn that light on for me i am here at city walk of universal studios hollywood it has been a few months since i've been here i came with my family a while back when la still had restaurants open even though we didn't eat last time we came but there were definitely a lot of people here considering how much is actually open or how much is closed but now that LA has closed dine-in restaurants I don't believe there are any sit-down restaurants open because they don't offer any takeout but there are a few like Voodoo Donuts and Jamba Juice I believe and the new Harry Potter treats area which is one of the reasons I am here for to try their butterbeer ice cream um, and of course to see the Christmas decorations which last time we came they didn't have any holiday decorations up but it's been a while since I've even done a vlog. I've done some product reviews on my channel and other types of videos, but last time I've actually vlogged like this, I can't even recall, so hopefully I'm not too rusty, but let's go ahead and check out what CityWalk has to offer for us this holiday season and see what's uh, changed and what's different about it. But yeah, uh, thanks for joining me again and stay tuned. You know, believe it or not, it has actually been kind of cold in LA the last few days, so I've got some gloves, and at least I can wear something like these where I have the touchscreen fingertips, and instead of having to wear like the latex gloves or anything, since I'll be touching a lot of products and different things, just to not get my hands contaminated, but I guess if I'm using these gloves either way or any glove, then I'm just gonna contaminate these, but anyway, and I've got my geeky jerseys, Back to the Future Gigawatts jersey on. I'll put a link to their shop below. I don't know if they still have this jersey, but I know a lot of people like it when they do see it, so just wanna give them a quick shout out also. You do have to go through a quick security check that's mostly to do a temperature check, um, and you'll be on your way, so it's pretty fast. There's nobody in line right now, and so far it does look dead inside, but uh, let's take a look around. are open for takeout. Bubba Gum had a sign saying they're available for takeout. So if you are interested in taking up food from there, personally, I'm not a big fan of a lot of the food at City Walk, but uh, you know, I'll maybe talk about that more later. But that's one thing Disney definitely has the advantage of over Universal in general is their food. So. So if you see behind me, there used to be an entrance right there between the uh, Skechers store and the food court area pretty much, but they've closed all that off, so you have to enter through one entrance. They have all the signs and barricades too to go do the temperature check, but this entrance is now closed, so everyone comes in through the same way. As you can see, a lot of the restaurants have just taken out all their tables and chairs. And like Samba is completely closed, but Buka is open for takeout as well. Margarita is completely closed.
city walk never really had tables and chairs to eat as you can see behind me over there they have some benches set up so you can sit down so i guess if you do get like donuts or any type of food you can technically eat but not really so you may be able to last time we came here actually they had where the christmas tree is right here they had a bunch of tables and chairs set up but they have now taken those out so really you can't really sit anywhere but you can you can probably manage and I'm sure they won't say anything if you do eat. I did see some people eating some bubba gum takeout over there. Um, so yeah, as long as there's not big crowds forming and it's not like there are big crowds anyway. It is still kind of early and it is a little bit chilly. That might be a playing factor but I mean, you know, to be honest, as much as I love Universal, there isn't as much here as there is for Disneyland or downtown Disney in general. So I can understand that but Let's go ahead and head down the other way and uh, see what else is out there. I'm trying the butterbeer ice cream now I don't think Universal Hollywood has ever had this before I could be mistaken I've seen it at Universal Orlando I've seen other people talk about it but I'm not sure if Hollywood has had it maybe they have I love their butterbeer their frozen butterbeer actually the regular butterbeer it's okay I'm not a big fan of it but the hot butterbeer is good too but I think this will be enough sugar for me today so let's go ahead and try it oh let me give you a look of it It immediately reminds me of those little sundae cups that you would get as kids at parties that would have like a little layer of chocolate or caramel at the bottom. So it's, it's basically vanilla ice cream. I'm not getting much butterbeer. Maybe it's more in here where the sauce is. Very subtle, very subtle butterbeer. It's not that strong butterbeer flavor. I wanted butterbeer, pow, like in, in the palate, get all that flavor, but even now that I've dug through, it's basically vanilla ice cream with swirls of butterbeer sauce, I guess, or syrup. I mean, the ice cream's good, don't get me wrong, it's decent ice cream, but... Mm. I'll stick to the regular butterbeer, the drinking kind, not the ice cream kind. I'm kind of disappointed, but... I mean, you get a for seven dollars, you get a decent amount, so I can't complain there. Now, as you can see, there are a few people that are coming and going, so it's not too busy. I'm sure if it's the weekend, like a Saturday, even though today's Friday, but maybe later it'll get busier. All right, I'm giving this one more chance. There's a thick glob of butterbeer sauce right there. Still, nothing. It's just too, it's too bland, too mild. And like I was mentioning earlier, I love Universal, I love the rides, I love the experience. The one thing that I think personally holds Universal back from competing with Disneyland on the same level is the food. Disneyland doesn't have amazing, perfect food throughout the entire park. Compared to Universal, it's leagues beyond. I can always rely on Jurassic Cafe, or the new name, I forgot what it was called. And the Lard Lad donuts aren't bad. I think that's about it really. Sometimes at Horror Nights they'll have decent food. I think last year at Horror Nights they had some good food. But even off the top of my head I can't think about it. And even here in City Walk, Antojitos has been like the last decent food we had. And even that is just no big deal. Of course I'm forgetting, in, in Universal, Three Broomsticks is my favorite restaurant to eat at. I mean, I've never had bad food there and the butterbeer is always good. Where the ice cream is, I'm not sure, but yeah, Three Broomsticks and Jurassic Cafe are really the only places I can rely on. And even those are decent food for the most part. I mean, there are some good things, but you know, it could be better.
shirt says it's scented like bacon. Let's give it a test. It smells like bacon. <laughs> that smells like bacon. <laughs> Folks, thanks for coming with me on my Universal trip today. Um, it was a pretty decent day, you know, I got to see a lot of the holiday decorations as you saw and I was glad they did have that. That's about it for Universal. Like I said, there's really not much going on and it was still good to come see it. And even now it's just not anywhere near as busy as it used to be. Even a few weeks ago when dining was still available, it's still not that busy. So um, if you live in the area and you want to just come hang out for a couple hours, you can definitely do that. But other than that, thanks for tuning in and thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube and my Instagram. I'll link them down below as well. And stay tuned for the next video.